my name is Pika Girl and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Wonderlandian croquet set. Okay, this is really hard to hold up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, and then also I made uh, some, this is just a mess. I made some mallets and they're in just a bunch of different colors. As you can see here and these are just some really cool pipe cleaners that I um add some beads onto and they look like mouse and they're super cute and I found these really cute pom-poms that look like little hedgehogs so they work pretty great as um croquet balls for a Wonderlandian themed croquet set and I'll just show you the mat again <laughs> so it's just a um, piece of poster paper uh, with some scrapbook paper on and this is what it looks like. And it's all set up as on uh, like how croquet is supposed to be set up the normal way. Uh, that's just how I want it to be. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. You can, if you were to make it, you could arrange it however you want. And it's just really cool. And it's lots of fun to just um, try to like hit the little um, ball with the little mallet. It's just kind of fun to just play around with it on your own. And it's really, um, really perfect for um, the Wonderlandian characters, especially the triathlon Lizzie, who has her own croquet mallet, which I kind of inspired the rest of the mallets off. Uh, so yeah, before we get onto the video, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd be very appreciative if you did. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And also, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at pika underscore girl 513 where you can see um, pictures of the stuff before they go up on YouTube and also um, just to keep up with me and you can talk to me, I don't bite, <laughs> and um, see what I'm doing in my daily life. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Let's go! Okay, so starting off, I have this poster paper here that is cut to 22 inches by 17 inches and I have this grass scrap hook scrapbook paper here that I'll be um, gluing down all over the uh, poster paper with um, a glue stick. For the croquet mallet I'm going to be um, taking these pipe cleaners here that I found um, that have these um, fuzzies all along them that kind of um, reminded me of like a flamingo. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting um, in the near center and then um, cutting off one of the top frizzies and then I'm going to fold out the bottom like this here and I'm going to add pony beads with hot glue to mimic the mallet um, part at the bottom and I also loop over the top for a handle. Okay, here are all the mallets I made with the exception of Lizzie's on the corner. Uh, so this is what they look like. I added a little bit of extra detail by adding um, some more beads along it to just give it more dimension. And um, for the balls, I'm going to be using these um, pom-poms here that have tinsel sticking out. They kind of remind me of hedgehogs. And if I didn't have one that matched a mallet color, I just balled up um, some of the extra pipe cleaners to the shape I wanted. And that is going to be uh, a ball for that mallet. For the end post, um, it's just as simple as gluing... Um, beads onto a toothpick so I have a couple of wooden beads and some pony beads and then I'm going to be taking this green bead here and that is what I'm going to be attaching the toothpick to to easily attach it to the grass board. For the wickets I'm going to be using um, paper clips and what I've done is that I've taken a generally small size paper clip and I cut a little bit off at the end and what I'm doing is I'm just um, curling it into a U shape. Okay, so I've now hot glued down the wickets to the board. I also um, later painted them white so that they're more visible. I have all my little balls as well as all my mallets. And Lizzie is ready to play. Ta-da! <laughs> okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And also leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'd be very appreciated if you did. Also, I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, Fantasy Dream Artist. Her name should be popping up down here. Uh, thank you so much for leaving such a lovely comment on my spinning wheel video. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And also to um, add Ever After High Forever After on Instagram. Thank you so much for leaving such lovely comments on all my posts. I just really appreciate it. It just really makes my day when I see nice comments on my posts. So, also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Pinky underscore girl. 
513 and you can also get a shout out just by commenting on my post and you can also get a shout out from YouTube just by commenting down on this video. So go leave a comment, just say hi and I'd be happy to talk to you if you want to. Uh, so yeah, until next time, I'm Picky Girl, this is my channel, bye guys!